asked, what should the chlorine level be in a swimming pool? If you're DIYing pool care, it's one of the most important values to understand, and your test strips and your test kit can help. What's the best chlorine level for safe swimming? When we talk about the ideal chlorine level for safe swimming conditions, we're actually talking about the free available chlorine, not the total chlorine in your pool. Free chlorine is one of the values measured by your test strips, so it's easy to track. You always want your free available chlorine levels to stay between one and four parts per million for ideal swimming conditions. Be sure to test your water weekly or more often if you've had rain or a lot of pool use. When adding chlorine to the pool, how many chlorine tablets should you use? There's an easy way to figure out how many chlorine tablets you should use, and it all depends on the volume of your pool. Each of these three inch chlorinating tablets treats 10,000 gallons of water. So you'll place one tablet in your pool feeder, floater, or skimmer for every 10,000 gallons of water your pool has. And you'll do that every week or as needed to maintain free chlorine levels of one to four parts per million. Since this pool is about 20,000 gallons, we'll add two tablets. Do not add the chlorine tablets directly to the pool because that can cause damage to the pool surfaces. Now, pop-up pools are a little bit different. If you're wondering, how much chlorine should I put in my pop-up pool? Or how much chlorine should I put in my 1,000 gallon pool? Here's what you need to know. Above ground pools can range in size from 1,000 gallons to over 5,000 gallons. It's always better to round up when it comes to adding chlorine to your pool. However, for smaller pools, you can opt for one inch, slow dissolving chlorinating tablets that treat fewer gallons. For instance, if you use HTH one inch chlorinating tablets, two of these one inch tablets will treat 5,000 gallons. For a 1,000 gallon pool, start with one one inch tablet to sanitize your water and keep testing throughout the week. But keep in mind, while you may only need one one inch tablet per 2,500 gallons, the free available chlorine in small pools may dissipate quickly, so you'll definitely want to stay on top of it. That's it for now. To learn a little more about chlorine, watch our video on the difference between chlorine tablets. This is Megan D for a clean, clear swimming pool. See you later.